Dear Mr. Minister, dear laureates and dear fellow jury members, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, friends uh, and family of Max van der Stuhl and friends of HCNM. I thank you very much for the previous film. I hope you felt, Minister, Mr. Minister, what an impact the prize had had. And I hope you will have discussions with the laureates to see how important it was for their work, for their esteem, for the possibilities to defend the rights of offended people in Kyrgyzstan. And you also saw the beautiful country they represent. But the main speech, I want, of course, to begin with a quote of Max van der Stoel in a speech he made exactly 20 years ago in Skopje. I quote, states must have an open eye for longer term developments with a view to anticipating future crises and not only pay attention to already existing conflicts. It's never too early for a realistic assessment of worrisome developments. If we, we devote our attention only to the wars of today, we will have reasons to mourn to, again tomorrow. I feel this quote is appropriate on the United Nations Day to remind us of the deep felt convictions of the man we honor today. Keeping to the spirit of Max van der Stoel, we should not forget prevention even in times of horrible suffering, among others in Aleppo, in Mosul, in Haiti. And, dear friends, certainly the spirit of early prevention and of the need to work with young people to create the conditions for a peaceful society is the underpinning conviction of the people we have the pleasure to award today. I wish to express my, also I wish to express my gratitude to the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs for having once more entrusted the H&M and my fellow jury members to find a worthy winner of this year's award. I also wish to express my utmost appreciation of them, the other jury members, for their devoted work. I'm very happy to see Professor Hoffman, Professor Omen, and Director Verhovsky among us today. Maybe you could rise up. As, as we know, the first set of recommendations by the institution and Max van der Stoel were issued 20 years ago, and they dealt with education. Also, therefore, it is fitting in the spirit of his legacy uh, that this year's awardee works, works in the field of education, as we have heard. The winner of the 2016 Max van der Stoel Award is thus an NGO with a clear vision and conviction, placing education at the core of integrating diversity. The Association of, of, for Historical Dialogue and Research, AHDR, as we say, teaches history and bridges communities on the shared and divided island of Cyprus. When studying the work of AHDR, I was also reminded of the words of Max van der Stoel. He said, a society at peace with itself is a society that can concentrate on issues of common interest, benefiting all citizens. The jury agreed that this is the ethos of AHDR, to help the citizens of Cyprus concentrate on issues of common interest, to look to the future for benefit of all. After conflicts, such as endured by Cyprus. There are many wounds, there are many narratives, and there are also divisive views on what has happened. Various and diverging, diverging historical narratives often contribute to the division of societies. Some historical narratives even perpetuate these divisions. The lack of cohesion within a society often threatens its stability and may increase the likelihood of opening up old wounds. These challenges are some 
of some of which you are addressing in your everyday work. Dear friends, I recently saw again the famous play by Bertolt Brecht, Mother Courage and Her Children. I don't, dare not pronounce it in German. But it is a sad piece on a lady delivering supplies to the soldiers during the 30-year war in the 17th century. After having seen the play, people have drawn many conclusions on the madness of war. But maybe it also can lead us to think that Brecht, with his play, encourages us to reflect on situations of missed opportunities. Where there are tragedies, where there is also a way out, but no one takes it, is often the case, no one takes it. In a world full of people who do not see the way out, AHDR is an exception. Knowing that their work can contribute to the way out of the tragedy. Dear friends, in many countries of today's Europe, there is a need for a deeper understanding on how to build multicultural and intercultural societies. From the outset, AHDR has demonstrated its sustained commitment to building a multicultural and multi-faith society, promoting mutual respect and diversity, and including all of the communities of Cyprus. <laughs> Having started as a bicommunal endeavor, AHER's work is exceptional because of its inclusive intercommunal approach, by also engaging the Armenians, Maronites, and Latins of Cyprus. Diversity. Dear friends, it's also encouraging for us here today to note that the UN Secretary General elect Antonio Guterres in his acceptance speech said, among other things, diversity can bring us together, not drive us apart. We have a friend in Antonio Guterres. Dear friends, we deeply admire AHDR for not avoiding controversial issues, but rather approaching them in a critical and empathetic way. In order to do so, they provide access to learning opportunities for individuals from different ethnic, religious, cultural, and social backgrounds, including also teacher training sessions, cultural excursions, seminars, and conferences. And you have developed a range of supplementary teaching materials in order to help inter alia address the legacies of a violent past. Today, more than ever, this kind of approach is needed in the OSC area. I hope, as did Henrik, uh, that the example of H H AHDR can inspire all of us, other educators and civil society activists, as well as decision makers globally, to be open to each other to refrain from misusing history, and to be open to different perspectives of the past. With these words, dear friends, I wish on behalf of the jury to congratulate you, Alev and Kyriakos, and the whole of your team. And now we will learn more about you, because I will invite you to watch the next film on the today, today's awardees' work.